Hey guys, John here. I am back with some more full self-driving footage. I'm really excited to present version 12.3 to you. It arrived in my 2019 long range rear wheel drive model three here in Chicago on Saturday, March 16th, very early in the day. Now I already had plans to head into the city for the St. Patrick's Day festivities with my daughters. So I didn't actually get to test it until about 3 p.m. or so when I got back. At that time, I picked up dinner so I could take it into the city to do a lot of rigorous testing during a, this very busy weekend. It's probably one of the busiest, most hectic weekends of the whole year in Chicago. So it took me a while to get into the city, but I really wanted to put it to the test. I did a live stream on that day uh, in the suburbs, and I will say in the suburbs, it performs so nicely. Overall, version 12.3 is a huge leap forward. Uh, I think it's, I've, I've seen people say this before, it's like five steps forward, one step back. It's not perfect. I mean, it still makes, it, it still makes mistakes. It still has some issues, but by and large, it is executing so, so well. I mean, it has gotten me so excited. You'll hear me in these clips coming up screaming with joy and excitement because it's doing things that it's never done before. And I kind of expected this, but being behind the wheel when it does this is a whole different experience. I recently signed up for Tesme, which allows people to sign up to ride in my car and I, to be honest with you, am okay with letting people drive my car if they are really passionate and curious to learn about full self-driving. So if you live in the Chicago area and you're interested in testing it, go to Tesme, find my profile, be more than happy to show it to you because I absolutely love the experience myself and I wanna share that and spread the word as much as possible because it is Unbelievable, quite unbelievable. I mean, we are witnessing the future here. As a friend of mine likes to say, we're not just on the leading edge here, we are on the bleeding edge of this self-driving technology. I really believe this is the correct approach with all AI and neural nets. It is really impressive how well the car does in a number of situations. It feels like there's somebody driving my car remotely. I mean, it feels like a human is in charge of my car. I did a series of ride shares after I tested it in the city of Chicago and nobody in my car had any idea that my car was driving itself. Now, I didn't tell people I probably should. I used to always let people know, but this version has given me so much confidence this early on already that I have no problem turning it on. And if it's about to make a wrong turn or it gets in the wrong lane, it's real simple. You just push up on the right drive stock and it cancels out of beta entirely. So I am fully prepared and ready to do that and have had to do that in the past, but this time I didn't have to intervene or disengage even once during my ride shares. Now I realize this is a little bit scary for people that have uh, a ride share uh, job because this is uh, you know, going to replace their job in the future. I really seriously believe that Tesla now at least with version 12 and 13 moving forward, I really believe they have the, tr the real potential to become a robo taxi. Whereas before it was kind of like, okay, it'll get there, it'll get there. But now I'm finally seeing like really substantial progress and it's documented and you can see it in these videos here. So without further delay, check it out. I take it out for lunch. It performs a U-turn. It's never done that before. You'll hear me, you're, you will hear me scream with excitement and then it moves forward to go to this very difficult multi-lane roundabout and it shoots the gap and just does phenomenal and then you'll see it down in the city hope you guys enjoy if you like my content please subscribe hit the like button it goes a long way i love all of you have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video all right so this is the first clip i've tested this area many many times if you're familiar with my content you'll see me take this route a lot to grab lunch at my favorite burrito restaurant in the schaumburg area i'm taking it down this road and right here it needs to execute a u-turn and every time before it would fail it gets over into the rumble strips here it gets right into the middle area this is like a no man's land 
And look at this, it executes, it actually pulls it off. It gets all the way through. I scream with joy. Ho oh, ho ho, I pulled it off. This is a dual lane roundabout in Des Plaines, Illinois, off of Gulf Road, one of the most difficult roundabouts in the suburbs here of Chicago. For anybody who's just joining, I will be heading down into downtown Chicago to do some testing. I'll take a route that's going to be very challenging, heading over to the Trump Tower, and then to the Chicago Theater, Willis Tower, and then over to Millennium Park. Here we go, into the roundabout, okay. I'm keeping an eye on things, really well done. It's kind of in the middle of these lanes. Uh, I'm ready to take over here in a moment. And it's going through everybody, look at this. Okay, these cars are coming here, they slow down. Previously, version 11 would have freaked out with those cars and stopped right there. I did not have to do anything, it did really well. Now, let's observe, it's hard to see maybe with this live stream, let's observe the turn signal behavior if it goes crazy on us, right and left and right and left. Nobody behind us. Okay, let's see what happens here. We need to go all the way through. Cars on the left coming, and we got a good stream of traffic on the left. It is not the right time to go. We have someone right behind us. It's creeping, someone coming. We need to go right now if it's gonna go. Okay, better hesitate. Okay, this is making me nervous. Okay, my foot is ready to take over. Okay, it's clear, look at this. This is the time, that is awesome. Did you just see that? Okay, going through, keep going, keep going. Go, go, go this way. All the way through, all the way through. Yes, oh, that was solid. That was solid. That was really great. That was perfect. That's exactly what I would have done if I was driving manually. Let's observe the turn signal behavior. This was the biggest issue with version 11. Let's see how it does here. We've got a car coming. Okay, it makes me nervous. I'm ready to take over. Okay, car's on the left. Okay, now's the time to go. Let's see if it goes. It's going, it's going. Okay, car coming up behind us. Gotta go all the way around. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, it pulls it off. That was great. That was really, really awesome. Okay, that's that's three for three, guys. I I haven't had any issues so far. That's That's really awesome. Okay, we got a car on the left, and after this, it's clear gonna come out and we're gonna enter the roundabout. Now there's a couple cars coming, it needs to go quick. Okay, now we've got a yield, this is really challenging. Look at the lane selection, it centers itself in the middle. The right turn signal is on, that's appropriate. Let's check it out, make sure it doesn't put the left turn signal on. We're waiting for this traffic here on the left. One car, two car, three, after this third car, we're good to go. Okay, going forward, okay, pushing through. Okay, stay in the left, keep going. No one behind us, keeping my eye on the road here. Cars coming over that way. Clear, good, perfect. Look at this. <laughs> That's four for four. This is really great, guys. I am really impressed. This is blowing me away. Now, let's see how it does. So far, it's really impressed me. The turn signal behavior seems to have been resolved. It used to be all over the map. It would go right, it would go left, it would confuse everybody behind me. In fact, it angered someone so bad. Like, hold on a minute, I gotta pay attention here. All right, we got a lot of cars on the left. Uh, it could have possibly gunned it there, but it's gotta be careful. Okay, now is a good time. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, okay, looking around, looking to my right, looking to my left. Okay, doing good, doing good. Okay, don't wait for that guy. Keep going, keep going. Yes, all right, that's five for five. That is awesome, rock solid. It pulled it off beautifully. Once again, really, really nice. I have not seen too many people testing version 12 in complex roundabouts like this. So this is why I wanted to come here first and have everybody witness it with me here live. Okay, let's take a look here. We got a lot of cars coming on the left. Okay, I'm waiting here. Okay, ooh, it's better, it better wait. I gotta be ready to take over. Okay, it's good. Look at this. <laughs> it, it's really assertive. It's doing great. Oh, oh, it's going over the curb in the little in the middle a little bit. Thankfully, it's a very shallow curb. Surprised it did that. It should not have done that. All right. That is 6 for 6. Ladies and gentlemen, roundabouts are operating beautifully on version 12.3. I am very, very happy with how it handled that. All right, if those clips didn't get you excited, then I really honestly don't know what will. This is a huge step forward. Congratulations to Tesla. I think this is amazing. 
I am really excited to test more. In the suburbs, it performs so well that I am inclined to not even document it because it's just like second nature to turn it on. And this is something that I cringe kind of saying because it's something that I've said before and I really don't get many comments when I post it to my close friends and family on Facebook. But this is something that I have sort of taken for granted. And once you have this software, you will never want to go back. And I can say that with certainty. Unfortunately, it's really, really expensive. You know, today it's $12,000 to buy full self-driving. Is it worth it? It's getting there, but still $12,000 is a lot of money. I really hope for the sake of everybody that this price can come down. My goal is not to rub it in everyone's face that how, you know, how amazing this is and then and then make people feel bad because they can't afford it. The fact is you can subscribe to a full self-driving uh, subscription and you can use this on a road trip. And I highly recommend that. Like, let's say you're going for a seven day trip somewhere. Great. Subscribe to full self-driving for a month. It's like $200, I think. And I think you will thoroughly enjoy it. It's even more interesting and fascinating when you're in an unknown environment and the car is doing everything all by itself. I would say that this software has a lot of utility for elderly people and also those that are flexible enough to allow the car to assume control. Now, I've said this before as well. If you are a control freak and if you don't want to have the car doing any of the driving, then you probably don't want to purchase full self-driving. Is it worth it to try? Yes, I think it is. However, you do have to be flexible enough to, to recognize that, hey, you know, this may operate a little bit differently than I would in certain situations. By all means, you are still in charge of your car. You are still driving your vehicle and you are still 100% liable. This is beta software. So if let's say it's about to hit a curb and I have heard with version 12, especially more so compared to version 11, the uh, the car has the ability of much more, it's much more likely to hit a curb and you'll get some rim, ra rim rash. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, be very careful of that. So don't just assume that it's gonna do everything perfectly. So I always am ready to take over and I would encourage you to do that as well. But as it stands today, I would say that it's worth it to subscribe to and play with. And like I said, I hope the price comes down so that everybody can witness this because it really is incredible. And until then, Find me on Tesme, especially if you're in the Chicago area, and come have a ride with me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.